Hey, what up? Lazy here as always, and in this episode, we're back on Forza Horizon 4 with this, the 2013 Mazda MX-5, or the Mazda Miata, wherever you're from. So, I feel like doing something dumb, so I'm going to twin turbo LS swap this thing and take it drifting. So, let's jump in and get this build started. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to jump in and drop in the 6.2 litre V8. Yep. I'm definitely going to leave it rear wheel drive as I want to drift this and I'm definitely going with the twin turbo kit. Alright, so jumping into here, for the body, I don't want to touch anything so I'm just going to leave it all stock. Yep, cool. Alright, so for the tyre compound, we're going to be running a fair bit of power so I'm going to go up to sport compound. For the front widths, I'm going to go up to 225s in the front. And I'm going to max the rear out at 255s. For the rims, there's a set in here that I reckon will suit it really well. Where are they? Right there. They're going to work awesomely. I'm just going to have to change the color later on, off camera. Doesn't really matter. Alright, so for the sizes in the front and the rear, I'm just going to leave them stock as well. And we will bring the track width out all the way in the front and in the rear. Cool. Now that that's done, we can jump into here. We can max all this out. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. It's much appreciated. I've also got channel memberships available and I've got a Discord up and running as well. Okay, so with the power we're running, we're definitely going to need a brake upgrade. I'm going to chuck it on drift suspension. Well, that actually looks pretty good. We'll smash on the anti-roll bars in the front and the rear. Yeah, I definitely don't want to cage him. We'll come back and do the weight reduction last as usual. Now we can just go through and just go hard, put everything on. Being a 6.2 litre V8 twin turbo, we will be running 1,016 horsepower and 850 on foot pounds. And this thing is actually really, really light. So... We'll be able to get this sideways really nicely. Chuck on the cooling and the flywheel. They'll be able to see what we're running. Yeah, there we go. 1,016, 851. Nice. Once we put the weight reduction on, it drops it down to 2360. Yeah, like I said, that's is super light. So there is the build done. The paint's already done. I'm going to jump in and do the rims off camera. The tune we'll be using today is available to download. And here is the information if you want to give it a shot. Now let's go hit a couple of drift zones. <laughs> at your destination. at your destination. Yeah. <laughs> 
arrived at your destination. All right, so there we go. This thing actually didn't do as well as what I expected. I was expecting a lot more out of it, but it's still a really neat car. I still haven't gotten the share code for it yet, but as soon as I do, I'll drop it down in the comments. But that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Laters.